Hi, I want to talk about Roth TSP versus Roth IRA today. And there's a big difference between the two if you retire early, okay? And a lot of federal employees do retire prior to the age of 59 and a half. So if you're retiring early, you're retiring at MRA 57, 56 in two months, whatever it may be. Or if you're a law enforcement officer retiring early at the age of 50, 52, whatever it may be, you need to know these rules, okay? Um, Roth TSP, you cannot access Roth TSP prior to 59 and a half without penalty, okay? Um, traditional TSP, you can, right? If you retire in the year that you turn 50 or for law enforcement, or if you retire in the year that you turn 55 for regular federal employees, then you have access to your traditional TSP right away without penalty. But you don't with Roth TSP, okay? You do not. Um, it, and I had somebody tell me recently that, that, hey, Roth TSP doesn't make sense if you're retiring early. It, why? What are you talking about? Well, because you have a penalty if you access it prior to 59 and a half, so what is my answer to that, okay? That, that doesn't apply, that doesn't make sense. Um, you just have to understand what the rules are. Roth TSP could absolutely still be a good fit for you. Um, so, if you were to take money out prior to 59 and a half, how would that work? How would it work from a Roth IRA? Well, Roth IRA has a, um, according to the IRS, an order of withdrawals, where one is your contributions. Your contributions or your principal come out first from a Roth IRA because that's money that you pay taxes on. Therefore, you have access to that money at any time. For example, if you have 30,000 of contributions in a Roth IRA and it's worth 50,000, you can take that 30 out with no penalty, all right? If that happens in Roth TSP and you're taking distributions, what's gonna happen is they have what they call the pro rata rule. Love my pro rata rules. And if you have um, you know, 30,000 of contributions and it's worth 50, what they say is it's gonna be a pro rata percentage of contributions and earnings, okay? Which means you're gonna have a penalty and you're gonna have taxes to pay on this portion of it, all right? So in other words, you don't wanna take money out of Roth TSP prior to 59 and a half. So if you retire early, then what do you do? You've got two options, okay? Both both good options. One, you just take money out of traditional TSP, okay? Not a big deal. You can now choose where you're taking your distribution from and you wanna take it out of traditional TSP, okay? Leave your, tradi or your Roth TSP alone. And then you've got option number two, do a transfer of your Roth to a transfer to Roth IRA, okay? So you just get that Roth TSP portion out and into your Roth IRA for one, that's gonna eliminate any errors that could happen with taking distributions from traditional TSP and possibly getting Roth TSP mixed in there with it. Um, Two, you do that, and should you need to get funds out of here for whatever reason, you have access to your contributions in Roth TSP. Or I'm sorry, in your Roth IRA, okay? So very simple, but you need to know the rules there. Don't make the mistake of thinking that you have access to Roth TSP penalty-free when you retire at the age of 57, okay? Because you don't. Now, one thing to keep in mind is there is a five-year rule for Roth IRAs, okay? And that five-year rule, I'll, co I'll cover it in another video. There's a number of details to it. But basically, it says that you have to have had a Roth IRA open for five years before you have access to the earnings tax free and penalty free, okay? Um, but again, I'll cover that in another video. Roth TSP, Roth IRA, different. They, they have different rules, similar yet different, okay? You do have penalties if you access prior to 59 and a half. All right, so make sure you know before you retire. Happy retirement.